Yo, what's good guys? This is Theo here. So today we're on free code camp algorithms, diff to arrays. So we're going to solve this. So basically this says compare two arrays and return a new array with any items only found in one of the two given arrays, but not both. Uh, in other words, return the symmetric difference of the two arrays. So a good example down here is it shows you uh, the array of 1, 2, 3, 5, then the array of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 should return 4 because 4 is in one but not both, but the other values are in both. So the way I uh, figured out how to do this after sort of looking at uh, you know, what other people came up with, this was the one that made most sense to me. So what you do is, uh, since we have this new right here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna loop through, and this is the imperative approach, which means it's gonna take the longest. We're gonna loop through the first array, I plus plus, and we're gonna say if array dot two dot index of array of one of i. So if the second array um, has this current value in it and it's equal to negative one, so if it's, if, sorry, if it's not in that, then we're gonna do, we're gonna push onto our array, array one of i. And uh, let me break that out. And we're gonna do the same thing for the second array, four bar j is equal to zero. j is less than array two dot length j plus plus, and here we're going to say if array of one, the first array, you know, doesn't have in it um, this current value in array two, then we're going to go ahead and push on to new array, dot push array two of j, and this should be, sorry, this should be j. So now we should have correct values. Let's go ahead and run that. And that does work. So let me just sort of show you what's going on. So first we're going to loop through this first array, right? And we're going to come across, we're going to say if array of two has one, so which it does, it's not going to meet this condition, it's not going to push. It's going to go two, no, it doesn't have that. Three, okay. Um, yeah, you know, it has that. Now it's going to go to five. And uh, then what's going to happen there? Um, it's going to say, no, it still doesn't. So doesn't work because it's going to check against all indexes. Okay, and we're going to come into here. So actually, at this point, in this for loop, if you console.log, I'll show you guys. If we were to console.log new array here. Let's say I mess this up. We should we should actually not see. Uh, let me see if I can actually bring it into our JavaScript console. I can show it to you guys. So let me open up my console. So I will show you guys right now. Here, like I was saying, you get nothing in this array. But if we uh, if we log it, let me go ahead and clear this. If we log it uh, right here, then I'll show you guys right. Uh, um, bring this back. Sorry about that. Clear that. Okay. So if we go up here, we do console.log new array. New array is not defined. Oh, sorry. It's outside of the function. My bad. Okay. Apologize. If the console.log. So if we go in here and we do console.log new array, now we come down here, sort of see what's going on here. We'll get the array of zero and four. So hope you guys enjoyed the, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and please subscribe to support the channel. It means a lot. So thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.